This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Elena, and I am Sarah's grandma. I've been clean for six months, which I'm very proud of and grateful for. Right now, my mother is doing so good. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing for my daughter. My daughter, Sarah, is addicted to meth. To clear the record, um, I'm not an addict. My family, I mean, they don't even know me, so. She'll pretty much uh, use whatever she can get her hands on. I've heard of her doing heroin. Give me a line and I'll, we'll do it. She's a mess. She gets aid from the county to help pay bills and... I'm outie. She never does. Hey, Sarah. How you doing? Good, good. I'm about to be doing better. <laughs> she thinks she's pretty hot. Stoners unite! We'll get plastered. Oh. All right, you get the pipe out. That's Chud. You look cute. To go to a store. Thank you. Thank you. you. Yourself today. You're awesome. <laughs> 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 she's hot as no. Can I hold you? I, like, I can't see them. My eyes are so blurry. Holy <laughs> <Lily>, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guys' bathroom stink. When she's out, I am totally thinking of all the different ways that she could be dead. When Sarah was born, it was like one of the best days of my life. Everywhere I went, she went. You know, we were really close. I've been a daddy's girl since the day I was born. She was just so cute and so beautiful and just wanted to be with her and take care of her. He was a mechanic and I'd walk to the shop every day. I'd make the coffee for him. I'd push the tires in with him and I'd be there with him all day until night. I was always like really attached to my dad. He paid attention to me like way more. My mom, so. I love my dad. Think you're gonna do that? You know, you can't, I'm not stupid. I'm the one that informed my dad <laughs> that, she was a, that she was messing around. When he took off, it broke me apart. He quit talking to me after that. He just up and left. And uh, it just hurt, because my mom, she resented me for that. From then on, everything was bad. Being a mom to me, it's saved my life. That's like the happiest I ever was in my entire life. Unfortunately, that happiness and that peacefulness didn't really last. I thought, if she could do it, then why can't I? My relationship with my grandma, it has changed a lot because we are not as close at all. 
Going to smoke? Sure. I'll come with you. We used to be partners in crime. You know what this is? It's a, an N.A. symbol for the program, you know. Since my mom's been clean, Sarah lost a confidant. I want to get it out of here and go have some fun. She lost an ally. I need to get stoned. She really felt abandoned, and that escalated her drug use and her her lifestyle just, just getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Come on. No, I'm not coming out right now. You come out. We need to talk to you. No. Too bad. I don't know what the f is going on. Sarah, come on. No. This is going to be good for you. Come on. I'm not going anywhere, dude. This is weird and bull. I don't right. have a drug addiction. I don't need to go to rehab. Baby, could we just talk to you? No, dude. And then you could make your decision, but. No. You want me to see me freak out? No. Sarah, will you please come out? I can't believe you're doing this. Sarah. Grandma, go away. You knew how you thought I was going to die. And you didn't want me to die because you didn't want to die. I'm not shooting up. I'm not being crazy like your ass, dude. But okay? I'm not I'm like scared you. For We're not you. saying that you are, Sarah. Uh uh. You're not like We're me. We're just saying that we want to give you, like, this really, really amazing opportunity to... Really, really amazing. I'm not leaving my kid. I'm not going to some stupid ass... You don't, you're, you're not you're, leaving your, your kid. kid. Your kid's going No, I'm not going. Get the f out of here! Sarah, we love you, and we need you to come out, OK? I'm not coming out, weirdo. But, Sarah, either, Too bad. either way, you're coming out of this room. You're either going to pack all your stuff and leave and go live on the streets, or, okay, that's fine. or we'll do that. so we you, and we want to give you help, and you're no, going to be able to take you your son with you wherever things. you go. Nope. We just need to start boxing everything up. I will leave and not come back, so... All right, well, we have your son, and you need yeah, to get I'm out... Yeah, I'm taking him, too, dumbass. He's not here. He's not here. And... The is he? We need you to get up and listen to us so we can... Move out! We love you, Sarah. Move out of my door. This is nuts. Sarah, Mom, move! Move out! The f is he? You're not a good mother to Jacoby. You are going to live without your son. You're gonna live without your son. Ow, right now, You're I'm not, not gonna get up. any money for yourself. You're not Leave gonna live out. here. Leave me alone. Swear. Let's go. Crazy. No. Baby, please, honey, I love you so much. We have taken her son to a babysitter with my son so that they wouldn't observe this going on. Hi, I'm Candy Finnegan. Hello. She's right in the bathroom. She doesn't want to talk to the cameras. She doesn't want to talk to family. I understand that. But she's willing to talk to you okay. and I if you want to sit Absolutely. in the car with me. Hey, I'm going to let her sit here. Okay? I'm going to go with her. It's a place called Austin Recovery. You're going to the women and children's program. You're going to be in a house. You're going to be with your baby all the time. My own room? Yeah, with your baby. I guess so. It's better than staying here. Got it. Love you guys. Love you, Jacob. Now Sarah stands a chance to get some good help for her and Jacoby. I know what it did for me, and uh, I want her to be able to uh, receive that same miracle.